again, Teacher Marge, and welcome back to my video. In this video, we're going to talk about subtraction. Now, what is the spelling of subtraction? So we have S U B T R A C T I O N. Now, let's talk about the meaning of subtraction. First, what is subtraction? Subtraction means taking away. So you just take out something away. Okay, now let's talk about the numbers. Or this is this example of subtraction. So we have 90 minus 14 is equal to 76. Now, let's identify the different parts of subtraction. First one is minuend. Okay, the first number is what we called minuend. How about the symbol? The symbol is what we call minus. The second number here is what we call subtrahend. And as always, using equal to or equals. And the answer in subtraction is what we call difference. So these are the parts of subtraction. Now, let's try to know the meaning of each word in subtraction. So we have parts of a subtraction. It can be used subtraction sentence or subtraction equation. They're all the same. The first thing, uh, the first one is minuend. Minuend means a number to be subtracted by another number. Second one is what we call subtrahend. Subtrahend means it is used to subtract the minuend. As simple as that. Next. The next one is what we call minus. Minus means a sign for subtraction. And the next one is difference. Difference means an answer for subtraction. Same thing in subtraction. Everybody always get confused with this equation. So in, in subtraction, we have the rule. The order in subtraction is a must. Why? Now let's take a look in addition. In addition, we have two numbers here to be add and if you change their position, you always get the same answer. Which means, in addition, we can change their position. Yes, correct. In addition, we can change their position. But, in subtraction, we cannot. Why? The first one is 85 minus 43 is equal to 42. Yes, that is the normal one. But if we are going to change their position, you will get the wrong solution now. Why? Because there is always rule or one rule of subtraction. That, always remember in subtraction, the biggest number is always comes first. Yes, correct. 43 is less than 85, so it's not a biggest one. The biggest number is 85. So if you are going to subtract 43 to 85, you will get the wrong solution. Even you're going to use calculator 
primary level, it will be a wrong one. Okay. These are some vocabularies related for addition and subtraction. You can use this one for your activity or practices. Thank you for your listening. I hope you enjoy it.